a gorgeous afternoon made for football, Temple visited Beaver Stadium for the Nittany Lions' final non-conference game of the season. The Owls are much improved under the leadership of several former Penn Staters, including head coach Al Golden. Michael gives it off to Jones. He's buried at the 50-yard line. Josh Gaines leading the charge. Third down, 13. Penn State 49. Good snap. He looks right. He's being chased by Maven, and down he goes. Aaron Maven in that sprinter stance, and away he goes. One series into the game, and Maven sacked, knocked Temple starting quarterback Adam DeMichael out of the game. Maven and his teammates didn't treat backup Chester Stewart any differently. The Nittany Lion defense was off to a roaring start. Offensively, however, Penn State would struggle in the first quarter. Broken eye, back goes Clark. He throws and intercepted. And the first interception thrown by the Nittany Lions this season. The turnover had Temple starting the drive in Penn State territory, but the Nittany Lion defense made that a moot point. Back goes Stewart, rolls right, buys some time, chased by Maven, and down he goes, Aaron Maven. Fourth down and 15, this Nittany Lion defense, Jack, goes out with their back against the wall, and they got a three and out. And I'll tell you, you cannot teach speed, especially with your defensive linemen. This defense is a solid defensive team right now, and they are gaining confidence here. This was a perfect example of the Nittany Lion team concept of football. While the offense took a while to find its rhythm, the defense was more than happy to pick them up with a superb quarter of football that smothered Temple, forcing the Owls to punt four times. By late in the first quarter, the offense had their sea legs and they started to move. Play action, Clark rolls left, he throws in his complaint to the 25, no way to the 30, and a Penn State first down as Clark back to pass, quarterback draw, 35, Clark to the 40, lowers the shoulder and he falls his way to the 43 yard line, he gets eight. They pitch it to Green to, to the corner, cuts inside 45, 50, Green to the Temple 47 yard line, he picks up eight in the play, second and two, go to the second quarter, scoreless. They get the ball to Green, shoots at the middle, 40, 35, Green tripped up, 30, still going, 25, 20. Green showing us power, leg drive, and speed. Back goes Clark, he sets, he looks downfield, he fires, open his bracket, bracket to the goal line, touchdown, Penn State, the Nittany Lions cap an 80-yard drive. The Penn State touchdown did not mean that the defense relaxed. In fact, they forced a quick three and out, turning the ball over to quarterback Darrell Clark, who started the day with the best pass efficiency rating in the Big Ten. The Nittany Lions were on the prowl again. While they couldn't get started in the first quarter, they couldn't be stopped in the second. Gives it to Royster up the middle. Big block by Lando. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Penn State. A 31-yard run for Evan Royster, and the Nittany Lions are on the board again. And what Temple needed was a big play, and all of a sudden they got one in special teams. First and 10, Penn State 26, rolling near side, Stewart pump fakes, he throws, it's intercepted by Davis, 20, Tony to his right, one play later, the Nittany Lions take it and turn it right around. After it looked like a big play on special teams for Temple, a big play by that Penn State defense. Clark play action pass, Clark sets a lot of time, delivers downfield for a wide open Butler at the 45-40, Butler to his right to the 40, 35, Butler breaks on tackle to the 30, he's taken down at the 29 and game tackle by nine members of the Temple defense. I'm not sure how many quarterbacks could end up making that pass downfield. Clark pump fake while he's in midair with a tackle right on his chest. Now it was all going Penn State's way. But Daryl Clark has more to him than just arm. His legs got him Penn State's third touchdown of the day, and the party in the sunshine was officially in full swing. Penn State's defense prides itself on playing the same way regardless of the quarter or the score, and they were carrying that out. Here they come, and down he goes, no Daryl Bowman. Clark under center. Clark gives the ball to Williams. And Derek Williams trying to break it to the outside, squeeze it right between a contain and a cut and a block off Lowler and gets good yardage. Back goes Clark. He throws. Sock at the five. Ramzog. Touchdown, Penn State. Ramzog is first career touchdown catch. With the weapons Penn State has offensively, and right now they're just taking control of this game. Those weapons include quarterback Pat Devlin and tailback Stephon Green, who helped the Lions tack on a Kevin Kelly 44-yard field goal. Penn State scored in all five second-quarter possessions, and it was 31-0 at the half. But it was Temple that came out moving in their first possession of the second half. A 15-yard face mask penalty and the end of a 28-yard completion helped get them as close as the Penn State 9. 
but the Lions held the Owls to a field goal, their first points against Penn State over a three-game stretch. The Nittany Lions answered quickly with their spread HD offense, now in high gear. Stephon Green following Wisniewski, 35, 40, 45, and there he goes, 40, far side, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Stephon Green. More than 105,000 were enjoying the last official Saturday of the summer, but their joy came from more than the weather as their 15th-ranked Nittany Lions continued to dominate. Back he goes, pressure from Maven, steps away, there's Gaines, and belted by Bowman for a loss at the 25-yard line. Down he goes, Josh Gaines! Penn State piled up seven sacks on defense while Chaz Powell became the last of six different players to score touchdowns. But head coach Joe Paterno also knows there were five Penn State fumbles and plenty of work to do before the Big Ten opener against Illinois next week.